Welcome back to this week's Fastest Minute in Construction. I'm Nate Beck, Daily Reporter staff writer. Let's dig into the news. Wisconsin's Joint Finance Committee this week advanced a legislative fix that would give Milwaukee officials the power to build a nearly $100 million facility that's crucial to a major cleanup of Milwaukee's estuaries. The Metropolitan Milwaukee Sewerage District is seeking a legislative fix that would allow it to build a facility to hold nearly 2 million cubic yards of contaminated sediment collected from an extensive cleanup of Milwaukee's rivers. The project would contain polluted material in a 42-acre section of the Milwaukee Harbor that could ultimately become developable land once the project is complete. Local, state, and federal officials are embarking on a $400 million cleanup of the city's waterways under a project to remove the area from the Environmental Protection Agency's list of polluted sites. If the legislative proposal advances, MMSD could bid out the project later this year. State regulators have ordered the Kenosha County Village of Summers to stop work on an unauthorized pipeline that would supply new development with water from Lake Michigan. Summers started work earlier this year on a five-mile pipeline that would supply a part of the village with water from the lake. But the village never sought permission to build the line from the Wisconsin Public Service Commission. The agency recently ordered Summers to stop work on the project, which was 40% finished as of late May. The pipeline project marks the fourth time that a Wisconsin municipality has sought to draw water from Lake Michigan after a 2008 compact that governs the use of Great Lakes water. That's it for this week's punch list. We'll see you next week.